I just walked out of an audition. It is Friday. It is 10.30 a.m. This has been my hiatus week in which I have done possibly more work than when I shoot the show. Today, though, after this audition, I got to do a few emails. I got to do a few housekeeping work things. And then I have a weekend to actually take off. I'm telling you, this hiatus week, I did two photo shoots, did an audition, did a self-tape, mad meetings, mad calls. I'm like, where is the break? Did I... Did I miss the Kit Kat? I don't see the break. The break is not to be found. I'm really proud of myself because, yo, I committed in September to just be like, yo, until December, it's gonna be work, 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 and we're gonna just get it done. So I'm really excited that I actually have a legit weekend. Ah, let's go home. All right, so my friend Taylor is here. We're gonna do something monumental. I'm so excited. I haven't what? studied enough for this. This is rocket science I'm not ready I'm for. I'm ready either. Both of us are really bad at this, so we're gonna wait for Sam to come, essentially. Mm -hmm. We're booking our flights to Trinidad! Woo! Let the countdown begin, ho! We have a new person. <laughs> That's been invited to the Trinidad. First of all, this is a high mother of an honor. If you get invited to Trinidad, you are in a very small, small percentage of. It's Mr. Me. Matt Santora. It's me. Santora earned an A team badge. Yes. And is coming. But as we're experiencing, as we always do, it is literal rocket science. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry the one and we're gonna. Figure it's it. so hard to book this one! Thank God Sam's here, alright? Figure it out. Which is, which is. The cheapest and also the most, it makes the most sense. It would be, give us a day for the- I check it. Tomorrow, I'm going back to shooting. It's been a great weekend. This is how I'm gonna spend the next three to four hours. No surprises. I'm gonna clean this whole mother effing house. This channel is lit, y'all. But I'll tell you what, I'm so happy about this. I'm gonna turn into like a mixtape cleaning anthem. Look at this, look at this, look at this right here. Look at this, obviously some shots were taken. Whatever, don't judge me. On that note, Went to Halloween hay or haunted hayride in LA. Don't recommend. <laughs> so expensive, and there was way too many people there. And then get this, yeah, this is a real story. So for those are not in LA, it's like a big park, and you do like you're on this like tractor thing, and you go through this haunted thing, whatever. It's fine. They closed the gates to the park, even though people are still inside, so no Ubers can get inside, and you're all the way in Effin Timbuktu. So literally, are all everyone? There's like a group of people, and they're like on their phone with their Ubers and their Uber drivers were like, we can't get you, the gate is closed. There's like 20 Ubers here, they're all parked. We had to walk two miles, I know American, two miles down, there's mother effing pitch dark and coyotes around us. We're just like, is this the real haunted hay? Don't recommend, man, anyways, back to what I was saying. We gonna turn this into a mixtape cleaning session. Here we go, y'all, we gonna make a lit. You know why? Because organization and cleanliness get you prepared for the week ahead. That's gangster. That's gangster. Don't let them convince you with that ice and the hose, no. Hey, yo, got a sink full of really, 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 really dirty dishes. If I had a genie to have them clean, would be all three wishes. Other rappers be talking about jewelry, women, and high stakes. I be talking about squeaky clean glasses, bowls, and plates. And dang, what's next? What's this? Come at me, bro. Uh, yo, I post my cleanliness on Insta. You know them boys got a Zoom. He wondering how I get everything so clean when I vacuum. Scoot! Scoot, scoot! Scoot, scoot, scoot! Hey, yo, I don't spend Sunday night chilling with my lover. I spend my Sunday night organizing my cupboards. Hey! Carbo's little cupboard here. Look at, oh my goodness, it's so good. I am so turned on right now. Hello, my lit rap mixtape about cleaning came to an abrupt end when I got sick. Basically, I think haunted hayride, waiting in the cold for three hours got me sick. But it's a new day, I took cold meds and I did this. Uh, and now it's a new day. I am back on set, back shooting. I'm really susceptible to cold, cold medication, so I take one tablet, and even still the next day, I'm like, hello, everybody. It's kind of what I'm like right now, but we're about to do rehearsal, get into it. Uh, hi, this week is over. Just like, just like that. Just like, bye. Oh, I just had so much sugar. I had Pop-Tarts, I had a croissant, I had a donut. I'm just like, what am I doing here? The crafty here is just like, every time I walk through, I'm like, ooh, is this my sixth donut of the day? I think so. I have 15 minutes to spare, which is like a rarity. So I thought I would take you through my vocal warm up. Now, this is very important to me because I have an extremely weak voice. I know this is one of my greatest weaknesses. Through every tour I've ever done, it takes like literally half a show before my voice gets lost because when I'm very loud, when I speak, you may have noticed, and I never do anything to like warm up my voice. So I've learned how to do vocal warm ups through my first and second tour. I didn't think I would have to do them for the show because I'm like, come on, it's a 22 minute show and I'm talking to an audience that's like relatively small, but no, I was losing my voice left, right, and center. So I had to learn a vo vocal warm up. It makes the world of a difference. If I don't do this, I lose my voice and I can't perform. So it's crucial. I do a five minute vocal warm up. It is off YouTube. I'll put the link down below. And why I love this is because it's a little bit zen. Like I'm, I'm super into it, but also I usually forget I'm mic'd up. My, my sound people can hear me doing these weird things randomly throughout the day. I just be like, uh, uh, and they're probably like, what the F is happening? I'm walking through my five minute vocal warm up. We are starting with the hum. 
Alright, let's do it. So we start with a hum and I try to basically mirror or mimic the, the, the pitch, tone, I don't know, what music, huh? Huh? Of what this person's doing. <laughs> Between segments, I've also learned that if you mimic a yawn, it helps stretch your vocal cords. So in between, I'll also do things like this. Now, mum. Mum. I'm lost in a mall looking for my Another thing I do in between is go from this uh, to very high to get my range. That's like grudge. Uh, now, lip roll up at you. Lip roll active you. This one makes my nose tickle so much. <laughs> Look how weird that looks. Ape jewel on goo. Goo 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 goo. What do I find in my nose? Goo 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 goo. And that's pretty much what it is. Obviously, I'm not doing it properly right now just to show you, but I usually walk around, I take deep breaths, I do each of these notes, and it saves grace. Ideally, I do it before and after. I haven't really been good on the after part because I go home and I'm like, bye! Y'all, look at this outfit real quick. Can we just take a moment? Looking like a sexy red M&M right now. It's kind of like my first episode outfit. It's a little different, but I'm like kind of feeling myself. Also, this hair. <laughs> okay, so. Glossy. I just want to communicate that people who make jumpsuits, like the bodysuits, that don't have the clasps near the PP area, you are the devil. And you are from hell. Literally. Because I don't understand. I'm wearing a Spanx bodysuit, and then on top of that, I'm wearing another bodysuit, but it doesn't have clasps. So you expect me to push it to the side and not get pee on my hand? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, and I just don't understand how it doesn't have clasps. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Okay, so the next piece I have to show is this white long sleeve tee. <laughs> it's from. The fifth label, it's a small, teeny, it's part of the visco look, and it's pretty much completely see-through. So, if you want to do some tracing, you can. We made an executive decision today, we could have choose, chose baby blue shoes or orange. We chose orange with the contrast with the blue, and I think it's lit! Why not? Let's do fun. There's hair attached to my camera. I'm mic'd, getting mic'd. John Irwin, how are you, John? So how, how's it going? Everybody's rock and rolling, did you, did you miss me for this I, I did, it was not good. Did you? Did your life lose I, I all did, meaning? I felt... Well, I yes, think it lost all It did, it did. It's okay, John. Yeah. I get it. You're I'm, my I'm never going to be the same. I'll never be the same. Oh my goodness! What a good looking audience! What the F? Where did you go? LA, I tell you, man. Y'all, look at you. So you're goddamn beautiful. Is this, who is this? Are you together? Yeah. God damn it. Um, 